Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPeteRealAgriculture.com and the weather in 2017. What a dog's breakfast. It's too dry in the south. Greg Stewart at my farm yesterday, cracks in the soil in my cornfield, opening up enough he can lose his jackknife. Meanwhile, we go further north, 10 inches of rain in the last week. Hail all over the place. A cloudburst comes over and hail just here, there, everywhere. What are the management things? So what about corn nitrogen? This is the third time this year we've talked about corn nitrogen. Amazing, it should be a done deal by now. It's absolutely not. So talking with Dr. Dave Hooker from Ridgetown Campus, University of Guelph, some really great data that he tweeted out. If you don't follow him on Twitter, at CropDoc2, you gotta follow him on Twitter. Lots of good information there. From Dr. Shapiro out of Nebraska, get a load of this under warm soil conditions, so we're talking 25 degrees Celsius, and our soils aren't that warm, but only three days, 60% nitrogen loss. If you are in that super wet, saturated area, you have to think about nitrogen. Have a look at your soil, because if it's like this, if it's all full of water and no air, that means that the bugs are using the nitrogen as their electron acceptor and that nitrogen goes off into the atmosphere. Do you need more nitrogen? That's the big question. Well, of course, if you're dry, you don't because you don't lose it. Where you're wet, lots of factors play. Soil temperature. So mostly where it's wet, we have cool nights. Our soil temperatures would be moderate. So we're not going to get 60% loss in three days. I think that's unrealistic. But how heavy is your soil? How long does it sit saturated? So if you're on a sandy loam, it doesn't play because it doesn't sit saturated. But you're on a clay loam, oh my gosh, or a heavy clay soil, average numbers, we tend to use about 5% nitrogen loss per day, that it sits saturated with no air in it. So kind of that you could not walk on it, you could not get out there and work that soil. So then you say, how much nitrogen do I already have on? And the other thing that tremendously plays, in 2015, Greg Stewart did great work in a situation exactly like this, saturated soils had, we thought, 220 pounds of nitrogen, Late nitrogen, another 50 pounds after nine inches of rain in June, gave very significant yield increase. So, how do you figure that out? Well, gosh, it's pretty tough, but in that 220 pounds of nitrogen, we counted on organic nitrogen. So alfalfa, manure, if you're counting on those sources, remember, we're cool this spring. Already we have less nitrogen coming out of the organic matter, now, we have all this rain and saturated soils, we don't get nitrogen release. So all of a sudden, all that organic nitrogen we were counting on, we count on a lot less. So do the math. If you put on 150 pounds of nitrogen, you're on a clay soil, you got 10 inches of rain, it sits saturated for 10 days, yeah, you've lost half that nitrogen. You will get benefit out of applying some late nitrogen. If you are counting on a lot of organic nitrogen, you will get benefit out of late nitrogen. If you're on a great soil or you're dry, yeah, probably that extra 20 pounds that we talked about earlier is all you need. But when it comes to nitrogen on corn, that's what drives yield. I really think you gotta pay attention to this because 2017 is just one of those years. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com.